When Apple announced its iPhone 14 lineup, it brought into the conversation the ability for devices to communicate with satellites in case of emergencies. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet video, I'm gonna compare devices that already existed, like this Garmin inReach Messenger, to the iPhone 14 and its satellite communication features. Let's take a look. If you're having a hard time deciding if the iPhone 14 is the way to go for your satellite communication texting needs, or if you need something more along the lines of what Garmin offers in its inReach lineup, that's exactly what this video is for. I'm gonna walk you three things about the Garmin device that makes it something you should get and three things about the iPhone 14 if Apple's emergency SOS via satellite is the right pick for you. Let's start with the Garmin inReach Messenger. It's a small device with a very small display on here. This pad actually acts as a wireless charging pad if you need to top off your phone while you're on the go. It's $299 and it uh, connects to an Iridium satellite network to help you send text messages, get weather updates and forecasts, as well as create trace back, track back routes so you can trace back your steps and figure out where you were if you get lost on a hike or share your location with friends and loved ones while you're on a hike with no reception or whatever. Here's how the inReach Messenger works. You're able to compare it to your smartphone and use a companion app to send and receive messages. Or you can use the small buttons here on the bottom of it. I don't know if you could see it. To, to send check-in messages to predefined contacts that you've set up on the device through the app itself. So you could send a message to your wife letting her know, yep, made it to camp, everything's good. Or you can use this SOS button here on the side, which is covered. You pull the cover off, then you have to hold in that button for a few seconds to actually trigger the emergency response system and get help on the way. Now, Garmin has had inReach since 2011. That's when it launched. They've helped over 10,000 SOS calls. That's insane. That's a lot of people helped by this device. So you should get the Garmin inReach Messenger. Again, $299. If you want a device that does more than just SOS, emergency satellite communications. Like I said, you could send text messages through the Garmin Messenger app on your phone. Let me pull it up here so you could see what it looks like. So you can send messages through the SOS or Messenger app on Garmin's, through Garmin's inReach Messenger. So Bluetooth connection connected to this from my phone. I could send and receive messages via a satellite that goes through this to my device. I can also get weather updates. Here's a weather forecast for the next week. 53 degrees and minus 14. So actually five degrees, a high of five degrees, minus 14 on Thursday here over an inch of snow. It's gonna be a cold one. But you could get that delivered directly to this. I could read that forecast on this small display. I could send and receive messages, whether it's to other Messenger users, Garmin Messenger users, or to their phone number or text or uh, email address directly. I could also update locations in somewhat real time. They're at set intervals and it depends on your subscription plan. I'm gonna get to that here in a second on how often you can update your, your location. And you can also create a route, like I said earlier, to help you get back to where you started. I had just mentioned there's a subscription for Garmin's services. The inReach subscriptions start at $15 a month and go all the way up to $65 a month. And basically what it comes down to is how many messages, text messages you plan to send. Emergency SOS is included with every plan. If you're in trouble, use it, get help. Don't test it if you don't need help because it really does start a chain of events where it, it sends out emergency responders to check on you. And you don't want to go through that because it's expensive. All right, so the $15 consumer safety plan includes unlimited SOS alerts, like I just said, 10 text messages a month, unlimited check-in messages, so you can prompt the device to check in, send an automated message to a loved one, contact of your choosing, and then it sets a tracking interval at every 10 minutes to let your contacts know, hey, this is where you're at on your route, 
and they can keep a somewhat live tabs on your movement to make sure everything's all right. The $65 plan includes basically unlimited everything, extreme or advanced weather forecasts, stuff like that. It gets really expensive really fast. You don't have to subscribe to it for a year, but you can pay for a year and save a little bit of money. Or you can go month to month if you're only hiking during the summer and that's when you need to use it. Subscribe when you start hiking again. Ditch it when you stop. Another reason to get the Garmin inReach Messenger is if you don't have an iPhone. There are no other smartphones on the market, especially Android phones, that have the same satellite texting capabilities that the iPhone 14 lineup does. So if you're an Android user and you want that peace of mind that comes with having the ability to communicate with the satellite and let someone know that something's going on, your option is Garmin's inReach Messenger, but you're going to pay for it, right? It's $299 for the device plus the monthly subscription. But it is a way to get that peace of mind, especially if you're someone who frequently travels in areas with no cellular or Wi-Fi reception, or you like to go hike and go off grid for a little bit and get away, but still want friends and loved ones to know where you're at. So let's talk emergency SOS via satellite on the iPhone 14. I've already done a video detailing how to go through this, how to use the demo mode to test it out. That way, if you ever find yourself in a situation, you know how to use it. Basically, the gist of it is, if you get into a situation where you don't have cellular or Wi-Fi coverage and you need to call 911, go ahead and do that. And once you do that, your phone is gonna automatically prompt you to connect to satellites and send text messages back and forth in order to get help. It's really easy, streamlined, and built into the device. So why should you go with that over the Garmin inReach Messenger or any of the other inReach devices in Garmin's lineup? Well, the first one is the obvious one. You don't wanna pay for an extra device and worry about carrying around that extra device. So if you've already bought an iPhone 14, which they start at $799, they're not cheap, you probably may not could not, don't want to spend another $299 on an inReach device, which makes a lot of sense. Everything's built into your iPhone. It's all in one Swiss Army knife, ever growing list of features, capable device. It's no longer a phone. Calling it a phone is no longer a good word for it. It is, it does a lot, right? But also, worrying about having this thing charged. And granted, it's battery life. If you have it powered off, lasts up to a year, powered off. If you have it powered on and you are tracking every 30 minutes, I think, uh, it can last up to 46 days. You're sending location updates every 46 days. When you start communicating with the satellites and sending messages, the battery life obviously goes down quite a bit. But it has long battery life, but you still have to worry about having it charged. If you have your phone on you, you're going to have it charged or know what charge level it's at, and you obviously are already going to have it on you so it's all built into one device and you don't have to worry about a second thing or yet another thing to include in your go bag or in your glove box if you only want peace of mind that's another reason to go with the iphone 14. peace of mind in the ability to get a hold of emergency responders or first responders in the event of an accident or you're stranded or you medical emergency and you need help if you don't care about sending text messages to tech in, check in with friends and loved ones. I mean, look, there's, there's something to be said about going off grid and disconnecting. And if you have the inReach on you, the temptation, let's face it, is there to send a quick message just to check in with someone. Whether it's an important project you're working on at work and you need to touch base, touch base with a colleague, or you just want to check in with a friend or family member to see how things are going. Like, I get it, our phones are addictive. If you are forced to go offline because there is no service, and the only way to communicate is if you dial 911, that break is kind of peaceful, right? So take advantage of that. That said, Apple's satellite feature does offer a way to update your location in the Find My app to anyone you've added as a friend or allowed to view your location in the Find My app be a satellite once every 15 minutes. So if you do want to provide peace of mind to friends and family members back home that you've made it to a campsite or you're okay on the hike, you can go into the Find My app and use the satellite to update your location every quarter hour, which is nice, right? You're not then communicating with them, but you're still providing them little clues, 
little hints and crumbs that you're okay and you're moving along your route. For the last one, let's talk about why you should get the iPhone 14 for emergency SOS via satellite, and that is not dealing with a subscription. $15 a month isn't a whole lot, but it is a lot for something that you may or may not use in an emergency situation. Really, inReach is if you want to go and have that constant connectivity, although limited and specialized, but you still want to be accessible, right? With the iPhone 14, you ditch the subscription fee and you have emergency services access, find my location updates and peace of mind for your friends and family, but there's nothing else to it and that's free. So actually Apple is, the official line is for two years after buying the iPhone 14, you'll get access to emergency SOS via satellite for free, no charge. After those two years, who knows what Apple's gonna do? I have some ideas. For example, I think they're building out the rest of their satellite network to work more like inReach and Garmin's offering for text messaging, for weather forecasts, for more frequent location updates outside of the every 15 minutes. I think that eventually we'll see a satellite service from Apple on iPhone models going forward that charge a monthly fee. Hopefully the emergency SOS via satellite remains free forever, but we know for right now you have two years, no charge. Kind of nice, $15 a month adds up over those two years, even if it's just for peace of mind, right? All right, so hopefully this video helped you kind of decide and pointed you in the right direction whether or not the iPhone 14 and its satellite communication features or a dedicated device like the inReach Messenger is better suited for your needs, your wants, your desires. I'm Jason Cipriani. Make sure to check out more of these videos at ZDNet.com as well as all the latest tech news, tips, and other info.